live from Amsterdam West, not WASP West. What is what is that uh, sun panel, Roy? What, what actually, is it used for? Oh, actually, it's only for light? I never saw it. <laughs> Very small. It's not enough for the whole apartment. I, think. I don't know what they're trying to do here. <laughs> Hello guys, good evening. Here we are with Roy from Tilburg and the local Amsterdam citizen. Yes, Amsterdam West Side. <laughs> and today. where are we? Out West. Out West. Out West, right? It's called Amsterdam West, one of the seven yeah. districts. It's a rich people's place. That's why Roy is living here. Almost. Almost rich. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. It was. It's funny. The, I don't maybe know. Maybe the smallest uh, what solar trying, panel. I, I, I don't know what they're trying to. <laughs> Sometimes to I, I saw similar things on highways, but uh, they are used to open the lights, the I highway know. lights. Yeah, I hey don't know. people, we have a short walking tour today because we have a plan with Roy. First, Roy has to go somewhere. Should we explain? Salsa. Salsa. He's going to take salsa lessons. We're going to dance some salsa. Salsa day. Bailando <laughs> salsa. And uh, yeah, first he's going to take uh, a little bit lesson, uh, some high skills. I mean, she's, he, he's a much better dancer, dancer than me, of course. But he's But still... Murat is better in bachata. It's oh, different yeah. Different style. <laughs> he's a bachata dancer. OK, okay. <laughs> different, different topics. <laughs> So now we are walking towards to that area, Club 8, mm -hmm. and while he is taking the dance lesson, the dancing class, I'll be walking around, I'm going to show all those things, but meanwhile, maybe you can explain something about this area. Roy. This is a busy street, a lot of bikes, actually they're already thinking to redesign the street and yes. making it one-way traffic for cars instead yep. of two-way traffic, because now, you have the walkers, the bikers, and yes. then cars two ways, and the tram two ways. Yes. So they're going to make it one way street for, for cars. Uh, I don't think for the rest. I think they're going to give up one yeah. way for the cars. So the cars have one way, and the sidewalk maybe will be a bit broader. But at least one lane of cars will be, will be uh, gone. Okay. They, they make the plans, they're just going to implement it later on. I saw a lot of construction uh, at the other side of the area. Yeah, that's because they are actually the highest cost that the city council of Amsterdam has uh, is from all the costs that they make is maintaining yeah. the water walls of the canals and the bridges. I know, I pay a lot. <laughs> I mean, I've just received my... <laughs> Uh, cleaning uh, water, water packs, something. Yeah, uh, but for the canals and other things. <laughs> that's why they have all these bridges from the Dam Square to the Mercatorplein. Yeah. It's like a long street uh, with a lot of bridges. They all um, have temporary bridges next to it, and then they're gonna close the bridges to maintain okay. them, to repair them, to make ah. them stronger, and then they're gonna reopen again. I think it's a plan for maybe three years it's gonna last. And when they started, they just started or already? Like, like one year ago or something. You, you know Amsterdam renovation, right? Amsterdam Central Station area construction? When did it start, do you know? I, I don't know, but a long time ago. In 1997 it started. Wow. <laughs> and still there is a four or five years left. You see, it's like... Wow. <laughs> there is this story about this uh, red bridge in America, the California Bridge or something. Uh, uh, there's this famous big red bridge, yes. very long, like the, maybe the biggest or longest uh, bridge in America, I'm not sure. I understand which one you mentioned, but I don't know its name. Yes, okay. And they say that they start painting the bridge, they repaint the bridge. Okay. And the story goes that once they finish it, they have to already go back to the beginning. Okay, to they have to start again. again. Because <laughs> it took takes so, much so time. long time. <laughs> reset. That, that's the great reset. Huh? The great reset, you know. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, finish. Oh, we have to start again. <laughs> Fucked up. This is the old tram. Just uh, two minutes ago, we saw the new tram. 
Yeah, and this the one looks one. actually new, right? I think it's all renewed. We have yeah. three versions, huh? Three versions now. Yeah. And also, if you include the nostalgic tram, there are four. Four, yeah. Are we at Mercator plane? Not yet. Oh, they, they say San Francisco. It's California. San Francisco, yeah. San Francisco. Golden Gate Bridge, yes. Golden Gate Bridge. That's the one Roy We mentioned. have some Americans online? Of course. We have yeah. Americans. We have Turkish, of course. Demirci is here. Let uh -huh. me check who is here. German, Germany, Andreas Müller, Polarnat, US, Margaret. Mm -hmm. Margaret, I don't, I don't remember. Pablo, Argentina. And some of them says, hello, Roy. You are famous, Roy. <laughs> <laughs> they know you. Hello, YouTubers. Because first, he was our uh, boat captain. Yeah. Last year during pandemic, mm -hmm. and then Tilburg, and before that Arnhem. We were in Arnhem, Tilburg, and now Alkmaar? in your territory. Alkmaar. Alkmaar, yeah. And now we are oh, yeah. in your territory. Yeah. <laughs> Four times already, yeah. All the best. That's good. We are getting familiar with you. Today it's uh, 12 Celsius, I think. It's cool weather. Look, he's wearing my penguin it, suit. Is a ping <laughs> yes, penguin suit. <laughs> I have a lighter jacket, but yeah. uh, we are going to visit Salsa Club already. We will, we will get warm. And here we have the gorillas. These these are all gorillas. You see? What is that? Gorillas. Oh yeah, I see. Oh, del delivery. They are the speed deliveries. Oh, speed delivery. Those they deliver are groceries in ten minutes. E-bikes, right? Yeah. Those are e-bikes. There you see the gorillas. Oh, okay. Are you happy with gorillas? I, 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 I never use it. Yeah. Okay. I live above the supermarket. How so. about Getter? Oh, you don't use fast no. delivery service. I'm not that lazy. Because, yeah, he's a Dutch. He's a slow, slow liver. Yeah. I mean, most of the Dutch people I know, they love living slowly. Not like Turkish mentality. I mean, in Turkey, yeah, we, we walk fast, we run fast, we drive fast, we do fast everything. But uh, we don't live actually. But, uh, I think it uh, is, has to do um, with um, metropolit metropolitan cities, like cities with, like Amsterdam has 900,000 uh, citizens. Citizens, yes. But Istanbul, 18 million. So yes. it's like a real big met metropolitan city, right? Yes, it's true. And that's, I think, if it's even it's London, New York, or Istanbul, Tokyo, uh, yeah, all, people all live in a red race. Yes, true. But this, I always call it a big village. It's a big village. Amsterdam is a big village, yes. Compared to those places? Yeah, I think the, the phrase you said, it was true. I mean, laziness. I mean, if you live in Amsterdam, such a small place, there are many supermarkets, everything, etc. I mean, you can... See, we talked about those Turkish... Arrive to any supermarket with your bike easily. Oh. That's the have, Turkish supermarket. We have a one. lot of those small Turkish All and right. Indonesian... Fresh ve vegetables and uh, fruits. So the, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, you don't feel like abroad if you are living here as a Turkish. But that's Club 8, I think. Right? Yeah, this Open is a pool, pool uh, club, so you can play snooker, pool, billiard. Yes. And upstairs, they have a... Uh, Top floor is a salsa room. Yeah, yeah. They have a salsa ah. floor. I mean, and at Club 8, pools, what other things? Darts, maybe? Yes. It, it's like a yeah. music club or only pool? Like a nightclub also. Okay. So upstairs is a nightclub where we do the salsa now. Ah, I see. And uh, downstairs they have the pool and the billiard. So uh, I've been here only for salsa parties, but any other day it's open? For club, I mean. Yeah, you can play snooker, and sometimes they have different parties. Different uh, parties, now like it's uh, getting house good. music. Uh, ah, okay. You know, all kinds of music, but not salsa. Nice. Watch out! <laughs> I thought you saw it. Aldi. There, there is a cheap supermarket here. We don't have that in Wasp. Aldi. I think it's I think German it's. Uh, is it German or I don't know Aldi. I think Germany must be. Oh, pull dar snooker. Yeah. Dance party. Okay. Oh, here uh, you can see snooker. Oh, yeah. Darts. From Monday to Donderda. Wow, it's open until 3 o'clock, even in uh, Thursday or Wednesday. Friday is open until 4 o'clock. Wow. All right. Roy is going to the class now, and I will be walking like 20 minutes more, and then I will come back here 
for warm salsa party. Enjoy Amsterdam West, guys. Thanks so much, Namaste. Roy. <laughs> Ciao. See you. Bye -bye. See you soon. <laughs> Ciao. Hey, hi. Hello, how are you? Oh, good with you? <laughs> good, thank you. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> you see how friendly people like Roy. <laughs> Roy is gonna join to a salsa combination class, upper level. Uh, he's not a beginner, he's already experienced about salsa dancing uh, with uh, 10 years experience, maybe more. But uh, he's still trying to improve himself, not like me. I'm uh, joining to salsa dance parties only for social dances. I don't learn anything more, I don't have much time about that. I'm more focusing on videos. But I will go back to the party like half hour later. So this is the new trams. New trams designs are like this. You can see also in the centrum. The old one is like this one. This is the old one, 13, number 13. Oh, look at that. Uh, it's Amsterdam Old West we are. Let me remind you. So, look at that. Left side of the doorway is a, there are some beautiful patterns, ceramics. And this one, another one is here. It looks like protected from 17th century. Hello, Tommy San, Polana, toilet brush. I couldn't see everyone. Sorry, Stefan, hello. About Builder Deck Strat. That's the area I stopped at the tra tram today. Thanks so much, Stefan. Wang Tong is here. Thank you, Tibor. Thanks so much for YouTube members and Patreon supporters also. I've been resting for three days almost. And today my, I'm out for a salsa party and uh, I was at Roy's house. So I, I thought like, why wouldn't I make another live stream video? The next one will be on Friday probably. On weekend I have some special plans for live streams for you. I will visit some interesting events and cities. Today's, today's video it's just walking around in Amsterdam Alt West. We will explore together different architecture and streets. It's a bright weather, clear sky. It's a bit cool weather. Like 12 or 13 Celsius. You know, pandemic has finished here. So a lot of a lot of events. Uh, throughout the country, especially in Amsterdam. Almost every weekend there are more than 10 events in the same day. <laughs> so there are music festivals, theater activities, street food festivals. I, I can't decide where should I visit. So many events after two years pandemic uh, silence. This side of the city is more residential, not really touristic. However, it's not far away from the centrum. If you are riding a bicycle, for example, Dam Square is only 10 minutes away from here. However, it's not the cheapest area for living. It's not expensive like Jordan area maybe, or the Pipe area maybe, but still, it's not the cheapest neighborhood of Amsterdam, out west, and it's a popular area. The famous Food Holland place is located in out west also. Oh, the is sorry. <laughs> Hopefully not, but who knows. Golden Brown Bars, yes. Napoli Pizza, Tattoo Studio, Mazmes, Mazmes. 
It's like a shopping district and there's an Albertan here. Okay, maybe the next corner is Hoftor Plain. Let me see. <laughs> Oh, look at that. There is a Konya Ekmek place. If we have any Turkish here, here's a place. Konya Ekmek Pizza. <laughs> pizza donor. Turkish uh, restaurant. Similar to Turkish flatbread, Turkish pizza. There's a similar one from Konya City. Ekmek is uh, it's called in Turkish. Okay, it's 9 o'clock. I will be back lately in 9.30 to the same place. We say goodbye. We said goodbye to Roy. Let's cross the other side. But before that, let me show you some canal view. Well, Old West is a smaller area, but there are nearby parks. The, I think the most famous one is Rembrandt Park or Erasmus Park. Let me see. Erasmus Park. Yeah, the boats are pretty close where we are now. Erasmus Park and Rembrandt Park pretty close here. Last weekend there was a champ champagne festival in uh, Rembrandt Park. I didn't visit, but I knew I knew that. I knew about that. I think this is a temporary bridge for the. And a nice terrace here by the canal. A big Albertine, of course, in the corner. Let's go back and explore some side streets. To me, the most popular place in Amsterdam Out West uh, is Kinkerstraat. There is also a popular local market there, like Albert Kart Market. There is Katamart. Tal Katamart, I think it's called. Oh, this Konya Etlekmek. Again, we are at Konya Etlekmek. This is Etlekmek, look like Turkish pide. Oh, this is pide, this is a take <laughs> I'm not trying to make you hungry. I could see you from my window, how nice. Hello, <laughs> G-Cow. No, guys, this is not Roy's real estate company. This is someone else. I can guarantee that he's not Roy and this is not Roy's real estate company. <laughs> yeah. And uh, if you watch my previous videos, maybe you remember 
Roy is in real estate business here. If you are looking for an apartment in Amsterdam, uh, you will check her uh, his website. Uh, it's uh, homecrew.nl. I will put on the description later. This is a bar, bar kitchen and it says here Think about your neighbors Don't do glass work outside So they say don't drink outside And they say don't put your bicycle here please And again, think about your neighbors Hello GGM Hey GGM, I have to espionize someone I have to tell you someone else, uh, to you uh, There is a guy from Brazil His name is Paolo, Paolo Melo He calls you gas gift magnet Sorry the espionage, sorry but uh, I have to tell that, sorry Please don't shoot him. This this the beautiful cat is missing. If you have any information, you can call this number. <laughs> Look at the neighborhood. Same type of buildings, same height. Really different from my hometown, Istanbul. All buildings have different heights. <laughs> but here almost the same. I think this neighborhood was built also in the, in the 19th century, probably. Bakery Nazar, Bakery Nazar is Turkish, Turkish bakery. There is a big Turkish community in this neighborhood. So I don't feel alone here. Okay, let's get into the side street a little bit. I don't know this area, but let's explore the side streets before heading to Club 8. A marathon runner is coming. Marathon runner. Hello, Ginch. Thank you so much for watching. Oi, Mustaf. Can we help with searching for housing in Utrecht? Of course, I think I think he is mostly covering Amsterdam, but probably he will help you, Dimitri. I will uh, tell him when I go back to the club. I will tell him, but uh, you can check his worst website first. Uh, home crew NL. Oh, look at that. There is a dance studio here in a church. It, it looks like a church. You know, many churches in the Netherlands, they were converted to some other businesses or, or they closed. Some churches are used as libraries. Some of them are nightclubs and some of them are brewery. And this one is a dance studio. Cafe Dance Studios. Wow, look, that's great. And it's, uh, it's great that nothing is wasted in the Netherlands. 
if we don't use church, if there's no one inside, why, why would you keep it empty? Just convert it to library or dance studios or brewery. It would be more useful. <laughs> Ciao Maurizio, I'm good, how about you? It's a great day, we will dance soon, salsa party. By the way, in July, there will be a big salsa boat party. We will departure from Amsterdam Central and we will sail through uh, Amsterdam Canal towards Zandam and Haarlem site. And there, it's a dance boat, dance party. There will be drinks, there will be dance, and on top of the boat, there will be sightseeing, and I will be doing a live stream there. In July, I don't remember the exact dates, but I will share it later. Oh, look at that, there's no end on the street. We are in a trap. <laughs> that will be a question from Paolo, that's right. Okay, this is the end of the streets, we are in a trap now. We have to go back to Hall Street. Wow, most peaceful month to visit Amsterdam, it was during pandemic, but... Uh, <laughs> if we talk, talk about Amsterdam city centrum, touristic area, there is no peaceful month any longer, but still winter months will be less crowded, I think, because when it's too cold, less people will be traveling to Amsterdam. So January, February, the coldest months, I think, will be better. Thank you, Margaret. But uh, I put the topic like evening walk. However, uh, nowadays sunset is after 10 o'clock, I think. So even at 10.30, it's still a bright, bright sky. Hey, Byron, thanks so much also. Yes, it's been a long time since we didn't visit this side of the city. Look at that. Many of the entrance doors have a, a graphics, mosaics like this, or ceramic, let's say. It's something special about Amsterdam Old West, I think. Look, this is the similar. And the other side as well. In every entrance, there is another one. <laughs> well, time flies, already 30 minutes. Let's slowly go back to uh, Club 8 area. Uh, we will be at a salsa party, Roy, me and some other friends until 12 o'clock probably. Now it's 9.30 almost. <clears throat> Okay, back to the same streets we walked through, near colleagues. Almost every place, every restaurant and bars in Amsterdam, they are looking for new stuff. There's a staff shortage. Even in Schiphol Airport, they are looking for new stuff with better salaries because for more than one and a half months, Schiphol Airport is in a crisis. There's a staff shortage especially in luggage and security area, so there are long queues. You have to be there at least four hours earlier than your flight. Okay, we are actually other side of Klapet. This is the place we will... I will come later for salsa party, but 
Now let's walk a little bit more, like 10 minutes more. There's a craft here. Saracon. Mehtap Turkish restaurant. There's another Turkish restaurant here. And some special beers. American beauty. Uh, there are some special imported beers here. Valhalla, delicious IPA, Valhalla, Nisaba. And Hazy Weekend. This brand is good, fun, that's right, but it's a bit more expensive than other brands. Halal. It's a Turkish restaurant, halal. Hello, Demirci, köfte kebab. <gülüyor> Afiyet olsun. Oh, let's go until the next bridge. I see still some sun there on the next corner. This is a uh, old trams with some advertisements on it. Let's wait for the bicycles and scooters behind of me. Hi, Bill McMath. And usually at this side of the city, bar terraces are less crowded, more peaceful, day or night. Oh, look at the sky. Great timing. Hey, Frankie, Colin, hello. Jack van der Sloss, interesting information. Thanks so much for sharing that information about Schiphol Airport. Job opportunities. And the other side, soon I will return to that area. But the tram is coming. Oh, look at that. I haven't seen that before. 
There's an interesting sculpture over there. Oh my god. Thank you, GGM Magnet. <laughs> it's Paulo's fault. All about Paulo's fault. And another interesting Netherlands architecture. Do you see that big buildings in the back? And one of the floors are different than the other floors. Do you see that? With some triangles. Well, I don't... It's kind of hard because... People... It's said that the whole floor was belonged to a Chinese businessman in the past. The whole floor. That means millions of millions of euros. Not any longer. <laughs> I think he, he sold it, I mean, he divided it in eight pieces, each triangle is there flat now. So let me show it again. Each triangle on that building you see is another flat apartment, but previously it was a penthouse for a Chinese businessman. That's the story I heard. Not sure if it's correct. So these two bars restaurant and bars that one that one also the third one however the busy amsterdam is it's always peaceful and a good ambience vibe here always there's a spot on the terrace that you can sit and enjoy look it's going to schiphol or departure from schiphol i don't know <laughs> I'm just making it up. <laughs> okay, we will finish the video here. It's 9.30. I think Roy's class is about to finish. Let's stop the video here with this beautiful view. So see you next time, Friday or Saturday. Thanks so much for watching. Another time we can walk around in more detail in Amsterdam Outwest area, also some other neighborhoods in Amsterdam West. See the image to see you, GGM, Andres Miller, Polarnat, Tibors, thank you. Nice evening everyone, have a nice day. And don't forget to like, please, thumbs up. <laughs>